Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Ensemble Facebook Live videos. Uh, my name is Ben, uh, I'm one of the outreach officers for Ensemble uh, and today hopefully I'm going to take you through um, using the uh, Ensemble REST API. So many of you uh, may already know that the uh, Ensemble project uses Perl uh, as the primary uh, programming language and we do have an, an API that um, you can access um, the database to retrieve data with. Um, but more and more um, frequently recently, um, we have found that people uh, are moving more and more away from Perl. So we think that um, one of the most important things moving forward uh, for Ensemble users uh, is being able to retrieve uh, data from our databases uh, in a language agnostic way. So um, to this end, we've um, developed um, the REST API. Uh, and today, hopefully, I'm going to just quickly show you in five minutes uh, how you can begin using the Ensemble REST API uh, and how you can um, begin retrieving different types of data. So I've logged into um, the uh, documentation for the Ensemble REST API. So if you go to a tab in your browser, um, you can go to rest.ensemble.org. You can see at the top here in my address bar. Uh, and this will take you to the home page that has all of the different uh, endpoints uh, and documentation for using the API. So just a piece of background um, for when you're using the Ensemble REST API uh, is that the all of the data is retrieved using what we call endpoints um, and these can either be in either a GET or a POST um, format. So the GET um, endpoints um, are structures for URLs um, that you can um, that you can create using scripts in any language. Um, so if you know um, the URL that you need to create to retrieve um, the data that you're interested in, and then you can basically write a script in any language, uh, and then this will allow you to retrieve uh, the data. So let's just begin exploring the uh, documentation a little bit. Um, you can see these are all of the API endpoints for the REST um, API, uh, and they're all divided into different subcategories. So you can see here, for example, um, these are our comparative genomics endpoints, um, where there's lots of information about um, getting uh, trees and, and ortholog predictions and things like that. You can also see information about cross-references, um, EQTLs, um, linkage disequilibrium for variation data. Uh, you can also look um, at different mappings, so between cDNA, um, CDS and protein sequences, for example. Um, you can also see um, phenotype associations, um, regulatory data, uh, and sequence. Uh, so this uh, sequence is one of the, um, I think, more popular uh, endpoints. Um, it helps you to retrieve sequence of many different types, so you can use it to retrieve uh, cDNA, genomic, protein sequences um, using uh, a genomic region or a particular ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this particular endpoint here, get sequence ID. So if you click on the endpoint that you're interested in, um, that you can find out a little bit more from the description here, um, but you can also find out a lot more by clicking on uh, the link itself. So when you click on the link, what you're going to see is um, some information about how to construct the URL um, using your um, script. So what you can do here is look to see the required parameters. So this is the information that the URL needs to contain um, in order for it to work and to retrieve the data that you need. Uh, and then there are also a list of optional parameters, uh, and these are different things that allow you to slightly modify um, the output um, that you're interested in. So, for example, um, if we look all the way down here, we're thinking about sequence. One of the parameters that we can do that we can define in our URL is the type. So you can actually choose to see um, cDNA sequence, cDS sequence, um, anything like this protein. Um, so this is a very useful um, tool that you can modify the data that you retrieve. Further down the page, you can see um, example requests uh, and a number of different languages as well. So you can see here, uh, this is the format of the URL that we need to construct. Um, so in this case, it will be rest.ensemble.org slash sequence slash ID uh, slash, and then you'd have your ID uh, of choice. Uh, and then, so this is an example output, uh, and you can switch between some different languages Perl, Python 2, Python 3, Ruby, Java, for example. Uh, and these are all languages uh, with example scripts of how you would uh, construct the URL to retrieve the data that you're interested in. Um, so let's have a go at doing this um, just once. We can try and um, retrieve 
uh, some sequence for a gene of interest. So I'm going to open up a new tab in my browser. Uh, and I'm going to type in www.rest. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to type rest.ensemble.org uh, slash sequence slash ID uh, and then slash and then I'm going to put my uh, ID of choice slash sequence slash ID and then my ID. So I'm going to have E M S G uh, zero 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 one five seven seven six four uh, and then if I press enter uh, the URL will take me to a page uh, that has the FASTA sequence for my gene of interest so here you can see uh, the FASTA header with the genomic location and the strand uh, and then this is the FASTA sequence um, for our gene of interest with this ID. Obviously you can see how these get um, these get requests allow us to retrieve single um, sequences or single pieces of information related to a single um, gene or feature in one go. Um, obviously we can write a script um, that generates these URLs um, for a whole batch of um, for a whole batch of gene IDs for example um, to retrieve numerous sequences. So I'm just going to go back to uh, the REST documentation um, and navigate back in my browser um, to where we were with the sequence. Um, I just wanted to now highlight to you how we um, can also retrieve multiple sequences um, using the POST request. So the POST request, um, someone um, told me quite a good analogy about this. So a GET request um, if you go to a store and you want to buy um, flour, um, bread and milk, you could go to the um, counter and ask the person three times for flour and go and get the flour uh, and then for bread and go and get the bread and then for milk and then go and get the milk. Um, or you could just go to the counter once and ask for flour, bread and milk uh, and then find them all in one go. So this is what a post request is. So it's uh, a single query, a single request that um, queries all of the different things that you want to know, all of the different features uh, in one go. So again the page is very similar, um, there's some uh, required parameters at the top, uh, in this case there are none but you have also the optional parameters here that you can choose. Uh, and then you have information uh, about the sample request, so this is the sample request here uh, and then you have uh, the sample output for example down here. So what you can do um, is you can write a script that um, uses the post request like this. Um, or you can use um, something called Postman. So this is um, something that I just wanted to quickly highlight to you um, at the end of um, this tutorial. Um, it's some freely available software that allows you to manage your API, your post API requests. Uh, so I've opened up um, Postman, I've installed it on my um, computer. Uh, and what I've done here is I've um, put the post request uh, into the header here. So you can see this is rest.ensemble.org slash sequence slash ID. Uh, in the header, um, I've defined my content type, so this is the uh, content type, JSON. Uh, and also in the body, um, I've put all of the IDs that I'm interested in retrieving uh, the sequence for. So these are obviously um, comma-separated uh, list of uh, transcript IDs, ENST. So I'm going to click Send. Uh, and then what we should have received uh, returned to us um, is the sequences um, of all of the transcripts from our list. So you can see here, um, this is the first sequence. And then as we scroll down, all of the sequence, all of the sequences that we are interested in. So this is a very simple way to quickly retrieve um, a large batch of sequences if you were interested um, in a number of genes or a number of different features like that. Okay. So that actually brings me to uh, the end of the, the Facebook Live demo. Um, hopefully uh, it's been useful in teaching you how to begin using the API. Um, if there are any further questions about using the API, please do get in contact with us uh, on the help desk, which is helpdesk at ensemble.org, um, or in the link for this video on Facebook, I put um, a, a URL for a webinar that we recorded last month and um, that goes into a lot more detail about using the REST API. So you can also check that out. So until I see you next time in the Facebook Live, thank you very much uh, and have a nice weekend. Goodbye.